what it means for me also that growing bigger as an artist is growing bigger as a composer. Um, because my goal is to grow bigger and bigger and develop myself. Uh, I met um, <coughs> Victor when I was close to my exam. And it, it, this exam in Israel is the first step for recognition of me as an artist here. And I made this course extreme, ex like one week, two weeks before exam. <laughs> and I had to study even at night, <laughs> days and nights. So it was very intense, but very informative. What I would say also that when you know when you don't know any law of composition or art, you can paint anything, but now it becomes harder to me to do any. <laughs> like I struggle every time, it's a struggle, I work with it. <laughs> can you tell me, Victor, when will be easy for me to make something beautiful? Honestly, never. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it's very frustrating. That's, that's, that's funny, Anna. I like that. That's good. That's killing me. When it will be easier for yeah, yeah, yeah. you? Hey, hey. When you, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about Mitta this week. Um, I have this graphic, de jo uh, graphic design job I do in the morning uh, during the daytime. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I think I might be making Mitta's life harder because my boss wants layouts. He's hired a designer, and he's hired someone who knows how to design. And they're always talking about, oh, we want a graphic designer or someone who knows how to design. But ultimately, they don't really care. They just want stuff produced. And it gets very frustrating because uh, – when you can see and you can see all these mistakes and like things that don't are just not right. Um, you want to make them aligned. It almost, you almost become like OCD in a weird way, uh, <laughs> but it becomes a headache because in, in, in a world where you just have to produce stuff for a living um, and very, very rapidly, you don't have the time or the space to really care for the craft. And, and so I was really, really thinking like, you know, this composition stuff is really, really great for fine artists who can take the time to really craft a work of art. And, um, and, and, and I'm not saying you shouldn't learn this method. You should, because when you get an opportunity to do really high end design work, it, it pays off. Um, but at some point you're going to have to find like this balance between, you know, making your boss happy and, and <laughs> making your soul happy. <laughs> yeah, Victor, I still, uh, I still feel that composition is at the heart of uh, 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 art as well as good graphic design uh, or rather great graphic design. So that's why I'm, I'm interested in this. Indeed. Um, all right, so that's the quote master. So we're done with Anna there. I mean, the vision. Um, so we have. I would also add that it definitely yes. pays off the knowledge and the possession of skills pays off because I got the three of four. So I'm the winner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, you do. <laughs> so now uh, you're allowed to be an artist in Israel, huh? Oh, yeah. First step is done. No, I need to go on. <coughs> That's cool. Um, so now we have one rule here besides um, – we have one rule here, and, and it's called the, uh, the A word. We're not allowed to use the A word when sharing information and, uh, about the work that we're doing. And the A word is the word art. Um, so all we have to do is when we're thinking about the word artist or artwork or art, just kind of replace it with the word composition. 
you may even go as far as to say, you know, replace the word drawing with design, because that, in, in its original form, that's actually what drawing means is, is designing. But just to kind of bring us back into that space where we're thinking much more about composition and design rather than, you know, uh, feelings and stuff like that are good, but they have to be done within context. And without composition as the foundation of your work, all that other stuff becomes nice, but it, 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 your, your, the work will collapse. It, it won't hold up. So, um, so that's really the only rule we have as we go into the presentations. Um, all right, so now we're going to start the presentations, and let's go to Mitta. Uh, Mitta, I'm going to give you control over my screen, okay? You see okay. here where it says number one composition, number two composition. In okay. Red. So your, your color is going to be red, okay? Um, so I'm going to give you, and you're not Martin. I didn't get to set you up. You know. Oh, that, that's okay. I... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to give you control, and I'm going to put the mouse right there. And whenever you're ready to move on to the next one, you can. Um, and if you would like some feedback, since we're only having two presenters, we have a little bit more time, uh, uh -huh. just ask us, and then anyone can jump in, and we can have an open dialogue, all right? Yeah, sure. Victor, do you have the – I did want some feedback on actually that long one, uh, but I don't know. You said that that's not going to be set up here, right? Uh, no, it's not going to be set up because when I brought it into the uh, program, it was so tiny um, that it was all blurry when I try to blow it up. Ah, okay, okay. Um, so, so th this is this is an infographic which I made, and um, it's kind of uh, it deals with numbers. And the core idea of this infographic was to kind of show that, like you know, during a contract, the over the number of years, how we have performed more and more. And so it starts from the left side and it goes up, as you can see, that light blue color going, becoming more and more and more as it goes through the years. Mm -hmm. uh, so in one snapshot, it tells the person that the contract has grown over the years in dollar value. and. Um, and that our performance or our um, our involve, involvement in it has grown. Um, so I, now I and I think Victor, you were talking about it. I just kind of visualized this. I did not think about any thirst or anything when I made this. I just I just thought about it. And to me, that icon in the center that tells me that the performance is increasing. So I use that and I base the whole layout around that. Um, but if we have to discuss uh, the first, I guess, uh, I think there's a major arc here, right? Yeah. And, um, and of course, I think the bottom portion, which is dark, I think that can represent the major horizontal, mm -hmm. dominant horizontal. And I don't think this has got a vertical. I don't think so. I think it's got a diagonal. Um, where it's kind of cutting into the circle, this uh, this portion. Okay, so hold on one second. So here you have your horizontal. Yeah. If I can change the color of that to uh, red. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and and actually, Mitta, uh, you can do this yourself too. Um, hold on one second. Give me give me a second. Uh, clear all. I want to. Okay. There. All right. So now. So here you mm -hmm. have your horizontal. Yeah. You have your dominant vertical. I see um, these little points here. Uh, but it is not a vertical. It's a, you mean it's a, that's a diagonal vector, right? The one which you showed right now. Yeah, right here. That's a yeah. diagonal. Yeah. Right. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have your curve coming yeah. up through here, mm -hmm. and then also with your um, your your vertical, 
you have it coming straight through here. You see how you don't have any other stacked on here? But this yeah. one comes straight through and it kind of comes right into that center point. Right. So, I mean, you kind of feel that thrust going up through there. So okay. when, I, when, I, when I saw it, I was like, this is awesome because it, you have everything. And then on top of it, you have this very, very dark against this very, very light. So you have uh, your high point of contrast. And it's all oh. starting from here. Right. So mm -hmm. that, that's really great that you didn't actually set out to intentionally do it, but you did it. So that means you understand the information. Uh, right. And then they all converge at the main uh, message, which is durability, performance, and dependability. Exactly. That's really, okay. really cool. Yeah, so I, it, it is true, Victor, that when I, when I make graphic design, I always don't think about these things. Uh, but, but I think it was ever since I've gone through some of the material which you have sent, I, I think it's helping me. And I think it's important for me to understand what I'm making. Yep. Congratulations. I think it's a, it's a really uh, nice piece. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I, th I think it's very simple, uh, but that, that's my work and that's what I do day in and day out. It's <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> you, want, you want to go to the next one then? Yeah, sure. Can, can I ask a question? Yeah, um, for me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Can I go note? Uh, can I annotate now, Victor? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, yeah. Let me erase my marks here. Okay. It's all yours, Bill. Thank you, sir. These guys here, right? You got one here, one here, one there. And what mm -hmm. happens for me is that my eyes, like, you know, confuse. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're here, you have a dominant vertical. And then to the right of that, you have these guys coming over here, which kind of makes the patterns of the arc. Uh, Bill, use a different annotated uh, tool because we, we can't see what you're talking oh, about. You can't, I'm sorry, okay. I'll use, because uh, I'll use, I don't know. Use the drawing See, line. see th this one, I could change my color, hold on. Color. But it's still blue. Anyway, you can see that when I'm clicking on these yellow. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yellow things here, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm, my question is, my, my feelings, I like to see them, uh, can I put it like this? They form this thing like this. They go from here, you know, like that. See? Right, right, right. And so that, that distracts me. Uh, do you have any suggestions? Uh, I'll tell you why that happened. Because I think in 2003, if you notice, uh, is it possible to zoom into this diagram a little bit? Just, uh, there are yeah. some white lines which are running, I think, which are not very visible. Little bit. Yeah, yeah, thanks. So I, I think, Bill, you know, in 2002, sorry, there were two contracts um, uh, which I put there. So I did not know any better way of putting it. So I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions, you can let me know. I see. I think what Bill um, is alluding to is could you have – oh, so these both of these here are in the same year. Yes, oh. yes. That's how it happened. But I, I understand Bill's point, and I agree, with you because the I, I just meander over that, you know, like like – it's almost like an S curve, which is going up to the top. Yeah, and, and, and your eye naturally will want to follow that curve. So somehow this one needs to be pushed over a little bit, and this needs to be pushed over a little bit, and then this one could be pushed over just a little bit. Um, so, then, so then your eye would just naturally go bop, 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 bop. Yeah, but I can't do that. Um, you know what I see too is those those rays have the rays coming out for the different panels. You know, mm -hmm. like uh, that's, I mean, it's not it doesn't show up close, but it's added benefit for me. It's like it's like circular stairs. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, this rays are basically they are tying into the central icon which I have, and they they are uh, indicating the block. For, you know, the space I have allocated to each year. Maybe the color also can help to change to change situation because like blue and yellow mm -hmm. are in contrast now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Otherwise, if you would put something like violet or 
leave it white and put, let's say, I don't know which color you choose, other colors, like it will not pop up, like people will, will, will not take that much attention that they are not forming the curve. Yeah, okay, so, so like this one here, mm -hmm. um, we could almost make a, a, a value, right? Um, so as it goes further away from the center, you yeah, see uh -huh. now your eye just goes bam, right? Like this one doesn't have the power that it has now. So even just coming down just ever so slightly, okay, you know, kind of would, would give you that effect as well. Yeah, that's that's an interesting thing. Uh, the color thing, okay. So that gives you a, a sense of a depth, right? Like a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. You see how that just does that? Now your eye goes here. Just mm -hmm. faded both those ones that are on yeah. the, uh, further out. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's there's the difference. Your eye is kind of moving straight up, and yeah. now and now your eye curves. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, that's very beautiful. Thanks. Yeah, that looks better, man. I can see that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the distraction is less big with those things which go down in the opacity. I think it creates a sense of depth yep. and the distraction is less. Yes. Cool. Thank you. Right. You want to go to the next one? Uh, yeah. Okay. So I think, um, I think this is more or less, again, the same thing which I have done. I mean, it's almost like the basic composition layout being just copied over from the previous one. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an arc in this one too with those uh, those instruments which are forming on the top. Yep. Um, I think the photograph of the woman that is the main focus point and uh, the band is the uh, dominant horizontal. Mm -hmm. I think the woman it would be considered as a vertical point too, but I'm not sure. Absolutely. Or maybe, maybe the logo. What do you think? Well, I would say mm -hmm. she is. Um, she is yeah. right. Yeah. Um, so you have th this point. Also, on both of these, I love these radiating things. So what you're really also doing is bringing in a radiating point or radiating line, which is a, another right. design element. Uh, mm -hmm. And you did it in the one before as well. So kudos to that. So you have... <coughs> Salute. Uh, let me get to this drawing thing here. So... <clears throat> you have this this curve, or you could even look at it like, you know, like an right. arabesque type of thing where you're going through there. You have your horizontal. Mm -hmm. vertical. One of the projects is is not um, converging all five, but focusing on three. So okay. in this case, you have a vertical, you have your curve. You also have your high point of contrast as well, the light against your dark. And then... Um, and then you have this, you have the horizontal, the vertical, the curve, and your high point of contrast. In terms of the, the, high of the woman, the woman's face, right? Well, not her face, but the circle that she's in against that dark background. Okay. okay. So her face is very blonde. Her hair is blonde, which is light value. Her skin is light value against the mm -hmm. white background. She, she kind of like is a ghost, you know, she's fading away. Um, but the person who took the photo, did that so that they could focus on her eyes, right? Right, right. Um, so in this case, what you could do is take a value that's maybe like the size of her neck, like the value in her neck, the darkness, uh -huh. neck, and make that white background uh -huh. um, that, you know, like a darker, here, let me see if I can do that real quick and show you. Because then, because if this is for a dentist, uh, something with a dentist. Yeah, um, yeah. So if you darken this area back here, mm -hmm. you'll see how how pretty she looks now. Yeah, um, she she pops up, right? Um. Okay, and then uh, let me just see if I can make a circle here. Ah, okay, but yeah, you get you get the point. So you can see just by darkening that back there, how mm -hmm. now her face comes forward, but more importantly, her teeth, right? 
right. you actually see her teeth a lot more. Here, you don't really see them. Yeah, Here, that's right. They, yeah. they come forward. Yeah, I think it might. What do you think about the logo, Victor? <laughs> How about the placement of the logo? Oh, the placement of the logo? I think the placement of the logo is nice. I think you have a nice ad. I mean, is there a lot of nice symmetry going on, balanced on both sides? You might put something uh, right down in this little area here. Maybe like a phone number could go right there, just to kind of weigh it out just a little bit more. Um, but I think it has a really nice symmetry to it, you know. Um, okay. So it all works well. Good job. Okay. Can I say something? I think that logo on the left is getting lost because the value value of the background is the same. Okay. Okay. What what, what do you propose? Driving you, the practice. Uh, do you want, okay. So now the logo was that color. Maybe I could have used a different color than uh, down there. Do you think? As they don't care about the color and think that logo is like their. They have their color and must have something. Um, you are not happy with the position you mean of the logo? It's the same value of the background, this violet color. Yeah, that's correct. It's the same value of the background. Would you want a lighter value in or a darker value? To me, it doesn't matter any, any other value, but it should be in contrast, I think. I would, I would go with a skosh darker. Uh, there is a shade or something. I would ma maybe I would uh, make it brighter the shade, like it would stand forward. No, I, I think you have to go darker because if it's lighter, it's going to contrast with the <coughs> vocal. <coughs> well, it, it, it it becomes an issue here. Um, if you go lighter, right? It 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 would be nice in the top because. It, this contrast between that dark purple and that lighter yellow uh, would be reduced. But if you go darker, you're going to actually increase that contrast. But down here, if you go lighter, uh, you'll, you'll, it, you'll increase the contrast down here. So it, it almost seems like what, are, what is it that you need to separate this logo from, the top or the bottom? Um, on the bottom. On the bottom. So you would probably want to go lighter. There is some kind of darker. shade around this this uh, this logo. I can see. Maybe There's if it would be more darker. No, not of the round. Yeah, of the uh, of the whole of the whole uh, rectangle, which is there, yes. and uh, there's, a, there's a drop shadow there. Yeah. There down here. Yeah. I personally have no problem with the value being the same as the background. Uh, and the reason why is because the logo is important, but it's really not that important, right? The message is what needs to be communicated. And then secondary would be the logo so that you know where it belongs to. Um, and I think you have a high contrast. I, I, let me ask you this question. Um, is their logo this with this purple box, or is this just their logo? Uh, Victor, it was with the purple box, okay. and I think that's the reason why I had to retain it. I think so. There, there is some purple color around the logo. They were fixed on that. That's what they gave me. Okay. Um, so maybe we we don't touch that. Maybe we touch what's going on going on around here. So let's try right. something real quick. I um, like the gradients that she made on the on the horizontal line. Comprehensive orthodox training from blue to to violet. Mm -hmm. Which was cool. Like maybe we try something right there. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let's let's see here. If we or from cold, let's say from cold to to from hot to cold shades, like leaving the same color but changing the temperature. Yep. <coughs> so, so here's a little bit of a value change but on a gradient and, and I was actually thinking more aligned with a radial gradient so that it would mimic this um, the tools yeah but with Rick, only if you're getting that you made the suggestion to correct her, her, her facial value 
Uh, um, yeah. Because of, because based upon that recommendation, then we should be operating from that perspective, shouldn't we? Well, if we went in there and changed it, but we're just operating on what we're looking at right now. Okay. And so, I mean, you can see here by lowering that value now by making it a little lighter, um, it's darker over here. So this now fades in at vignettes. The problem is now you have this area that you have to deal with, um, mm -hmm. but this comes forward now. So, yeah. so we change that value, but you have a nice little fade on it. So, it, you know, kind of mm -hmm. goes in with that radial. Um, How about increasing, increasing the shade? Making it darker? No, no this, the shade, you know, around the, 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 the square. Uh, well, I, I don't know. You mean the shadow around the square? Yes, I meant, I meant shadow. Yes, yeah, shadow. I'm sorry. Yeah, shadow. Um, you can try it. Let's see. See, my, it, I mean, it could work. I mean, it's bringing it in. I think we're spending too much time on solving an issue that at the end of the day isn't really um, going to make or break the piece because the, 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 the information that needs to be communicated is right in here. And, mm -hmm. and I think, Mitha, you did that successfully. This stuff on the outside, on the peripheral, it's on the outside because it needs to be there, but it's not overly important. Right. So when you look at hierarchy and one mm -hmm. way you can deal with hierarchy is to then have it subdued in value. Um, right. You know, uh, I, I think the light, lighter gradient which you put around the photographs, I think, I think it makes a big difference. I also liked your su uh, suggestion to maintain balance on the other side to keep a phone number or something like that in white. Oh, OK. Yeah, uh, I think those were some of the things which were bothering me a little bit when I looked at the layout. Yeah, something there, you said that you put something there, yeah. I think that helps. Um, yeah, we can increase the drop shadow also to give it a more sense of depth. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, so that's a darker value, going too light or too dark, I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Victor, let me ask you one thing quick because I... Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not really good at colors. The colors is one thing which I really, really struggle with when I make things. Okay. Uh, so when you make something, you don't look at colors first. You first look at the values. Is it that way? And is it like it always has to go from dark to light and uh, then to light dark again? And is it like that? You know, uh, yeah. Uh, Norman Rockwell said a lot of things, but one of the things he said, was he doesn't think of texture or color until his drawing and his design is, is perfect. So if we remove all the color from here and we only look at the value design, I think that works really, really well. So now, you know, the only reason why you're using purples and stuff like that is because that's part of the branding of the company. But what if that was red or green or whatever, you know? Um, it, it really, at the end of the day, doesn't matter if the values are working, if your design is working. That carries 80% of the success of this piece. You can see it's still successful. It's even more successful when you take all the color out of it, in my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. I think you did, as a designer, a really good job. The only thing... There's something down here that's bothering the heck out of me. Um, and there's, you see that space between the bottom here, right yeah. here? There just needs to be more space. Um, and maybe even something like that where you just get rid of the whole, whole area at the bottom. Okay. Um, I kind of like the little area because, you know, it kind of brings this little fan thing down here. 
Uh, but, you know, honestly, if you're going to bring the phone number up here, then you would just bring those two little lines, scooch them up a little bit, and it would solve that problem. Okay. okay. But it's just too close, and it's creating an energy between mm -hmm. here. Let me zoom in. Right. You see this, this little notch here? Mm -hmm. it's, it's creating an energy. So one thing that I do when as a designer is, is sometimes I'll go in here and I'll just take a square block. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then I'll go ahead and put it on the bottom of things. Mm -hmm. Boom. Okay. 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 And that then helps me. But then you see, like, you have this little space down here, which doesn't really help. <coughs> yeah. Right. So, um, but that's one way of solving those little issues like that. Okay. Okay, thanks. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, cool beans. Anybody want to uh, say any more comments on this piece or the one before? Oh, good stuff, man. Good stuff. Yeah, great work. In terms of yeah. color, I think you do have a nice eye for color. Um, uh, I think this has a nice color scheme. Uh, I think if these were purple or green, it'd probably work a lot better. And then you just have your soloist, your 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 warm color here. And let all this be cool. Maybe mm -hmm. you have warm here and a really bright warm here, and all of this kind of just moves you this way. But it's a little cooler than than having all that yellow everywhere. Okay, okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, Mr. Bill. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so um, let me give you control over my computer there, Bill. And here you are. And, and uh, here's your folder. So start with this one, where it's composition one, two, three. Right, okay. Right. So you're composition. Okay, I'm working on a series called Shahab Suit, and this is probably like the well, this is the fourth or fifth meeting I've been working on that project, and I made a major shift this week in terms of placement of the hat. There's a like a like a dunce hat in the top there. It was in a different angle than the other drawings that I um, was doing, but I found that if I follow the grid, this is a, a, a phi grid. If I follow the grid, everything work, works out better for me. So what I'm, I'm gonna show you, um, like you see what I did is lay out, I'll show you, this is the dominant vertical. Which uh, hold on, we don't see the change on our screen. Um, uh, Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Um, move, move the mouse around. No, don't click it. Move it around. Okay, for some reason. You see that? Uh, you see mm -hmm. the arrow? Okay, yeah, yeah, we see the arrow. Okay, so this is my dominant vertical. When it lines up <laughs> over one of the lines of the, uh, the grid. Okay. Right? This is my dominant horizontal. Lines up over the lines of the grid. This is my dominant vertical. Lines up over the line of the grid. And here, uh, the dominant uh, contrast and the dominant arc meets here, meets the vertical at this point. All right, so those are the major points that are lined up on the grid. And what I, what I discovered was by following this, this line here, I was able to reconstruct the hat so, it, so the dominant vertical could go through the piece directly before it went through the hat and ended off someplace else. But by following the grid in this way, I was able to you know, have the dominant um, uh, diagonal. 
Nope. All right. Any questions on that? Um, I'm just looking looking through it, seeing. I'm going to zoom in here real quick, Bill. Sure. Oh wait, hold on one second. Let me see if. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so you have this coming through. All right, so let me let me ask you this question. This. Sure. Did you see me zoom in? Yes, I see that. Okay, so I'm looking. You're starting at this point up here. Yes. And then, where is it ending? Like it ends. It ends uh, further down on the. So, like, say for example, yeah, it ends way over there someplace. Okay, so you're just so this huge major diagonal is just. No, that's that's not the major diagonal. The dominant diagonal is right here. Uh, no, I, I got you. I understand what you're saying. This is the dominant diagonal. Uh, what I'm saying is this huge. Yes. Diagonal. Yes, that's right. Which, in my opinion, is probably the one seen before that people see this one, just because it's on the outside there. Mm -hmm. um, I, for some reason, I thought this was going to come in and then be part of this head. I like that there's a transition between here, but this diagonal, I feel, kind of is violating the space. Um, not that it feels bad. I just, I see where it begins. I don't understand where it ends. And the question then is, why did you end it there? Okay. Uh, it ended there because there's no more space, you know, on, on the grid. I, I raised some lines. That's where it just ended up. I didn't think it would be that critical, but my, if you're concerned about it going through major points, it, it does and it ends on a major point. It ends on you know, one of the uh, spots. Okay, so I, I, I'm guessing what, um, what I'm thinking is, what if we ended it, we started it not on this point, but we came over one, Okay, now let me get a, change the color on, on this thing. You, you, you're, you're starting it here, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. now what if we came in on this line here, okay? Mm -hmm. Up here, oops. And then... We came, we found a division in here that we came across and it gave us this point M. Okay? And then we ended it on this point. And the reason why I, I, I'm saying this point is because you see here how then we could actually come to the same point in here. So there would be a rhythm or a rhyme to reason to um, right there would be that point. So now that hat goes like that, okay? Which looks like the same angle um, because it, the line was so big, okay? But then this vertical would have to would probably have to come in right down to here, and then that would pop that ear out, which is fine. I guess my, my, my whole point is I understand where you're starting it here, and I actually like that, that it's starting there. I'm just not understanding why it's ending here or over over in here. Because as I well, this, if you, start, if you start on, this is the, the, the thing. If you start on one of these dots and you yeah. do a major diagonal, it's going to end on one of those dots, okay? Right. Um, this doesn't, and as you go through here, it's like at different places, you know. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I do, and I, I, I looked at that and I said, well, 
based upon our conversation during the week, I thought, well, okay. It doesn't meet everyone in sequence. My pattern is every other one. It, it, it goes on, it, it, it meets every other one. All right, let me see. So you're saying it goes from here. It's going to go to this one, right? This one, it doesn't go through that. It's above it. Okay, all right, I got you. And, and so, therefore, I mean, I'm looking through all these, and it's either above it or, or under it, or it's not smack that. Now, the truth might be when you took this picture, you might have put your drawing back on top of the Vargas screws, and it wasn't it wasn't aligned properly. No, 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 no. It's, this no. Is, I, no, that's just the way it is. Okay. Because everything else is the other ones are lined up. Yeah. Okay. So like here, you're saying this is a major diagonal. Yes. It's not. Um, and and what I mean by that is. It's the reciprocal, right? Yeah. So if you're coming from here to, ah, come on. So if we started in this corner, I'm trying to find right here, this corner, and it ends here, then that's your reciprocal, which is nice, okay? Um, in this grid, that's your major diagonal. Your reciprocal is not your major one. Um, that's why I think when we were talking earlier, I was asking, was the, the, the units, and you said that they were in a, in a portrait orientation, that they yes. were going up. This isn't going up. This is a landscape orientation. Oh, that's right. They're landscape. I'm sorry. Right, right, right. Okay. And when I looked at this image, I felt that she was squat, like she was smaller and tinier and, and more you know, like squat. She didn't have the, the long elegance to her that she did in the other one that you did. And and I'm, and I'm thinking the reason why is because you're using the reciprocal grid, not the 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 one that has the vertical thrust to it. Oh, okay. So um, I feel like I'm being a. <laughs> uh, Okay, man. Yeah, so I would see if you can get the other grid that goes up. Right, right, I got you. Because then it's actually going to extend her out a little bit and, and right. she's have these right. longer, more elegant. This, this is a chubby wubby. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing. No, no, but, um, but, but, I, but I hear what you're saying. And, and I guess I could probably get a better, a better lineup as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what the grid's there for. So you know, um, talk to me about these the, these lips. Like, what were you thinking in terms of the lips? So, can I erase your, your your marks here, your annotations? Yeah, sure. You can erase them. Yeah. Um, well, they're they're like a you know a build up from the prior stuff that was more more um, graphic. Uh huh. And um, I said, so I fill, I fill them in, trying to use the straight lines. And I, you know, took the. Oh, I can use my tool to show you. <laughs> like I took this, this. I thought it was my dominant uh, diagonal, and I ended the lip there, as opposed to having it go over here someplace. Mm -hmm. you know, so that it would line up. Yeah. And so, I. Tr Ultimately, I think I was trying to get these guys to line up like this, like that. And, you know, they're on this uh, horizontal here, get a horizontal here. Now, I didn't place this exactly in a horizontal because it got too big. Yeah, so, the lips got too big? Yeah, I, I cheated a little bit. I raised it up a little bit. Well, that's fine. Um, yeah, you know, like this bottom lip here, you could probably even make it come on this other horizontal. Um, this this other horizontal right in here. Uh, let me see here. Right, right up there. Um, 
What I'm seeing here, Bill, is I like that you brought this down here, <coughs> here, but then, but then you have like this strange thing that's going on here that kind of almost feels like she was punched, you know, in the lip. And so what I would really suggest is, is you, you, you keep this like you have it. This is fine. This here, I would focus on making that where your lip ends, okay? So maybe you come up through here, um, you come down, you know, basically right there, and then you come across. And then ba you basically continue doing what you did. You could just come across, um, well, you can go from here to here, right, which gives you a nice lip. Um, or if you want, you can actually maybe come to one of these points and then curve down. So now it gives you a nice curve to the lip, right? Uh, if you don't want it to come to a point like this, you can just truncate that little piece off. Right. right. And then this, this then makes sense, like, you know, like the way you have it. Um, but it's just cleaning up this because right now it comes down through here and it almost feels like it's swollen, you know, and it doesn't really line up. Right, I got you. That face. Right. Um. Yeah, it's coming out. So, Richard, I have a quick question here. Yeah. Uh, on the upper lip, if you zoom in, you just said that he could join those two points, right? Um, yeah, on the upper upper end of the lip. Up here? Yeah, so you said that he could directly join those two points? Yeah, he could go from here to here. Okay, so is, is it that on the Barker's grids we can actually like have a diagonal between any two points directly? We can do that? Uh, yeah, um, you can. So you could make a point, like that's a reciprocal, mm -hmm. that would be a square, that would be your major rectangle. Um, if you have a point to here, uh -huh. um, you'll find that, uh, even, yeah, as long as it goes from one point to another point that's on the grid, um, you'll find that it just gives you the same angles. Okay. Now, one thing you can do, uh, and I like doing this, is if you need a, a new angle. So here's mm -hmm. one, right? But let's go ahead and do that angle. Or if you want, you can do that angle, right? Or you mm -hmm. can do four. Um, so now you have the, you know, these different angles, but they all relate because this angle is the relationship of four units. This is three, two, one, right? Okay, so we can do that. Yeah. Okay. I'm just kind of curious what five looks like. That's kind of a beautiful. <laughs> um, so. You can do that. The thing is, is you just don't want to do it once. If you're going to do something like that, mm -hmm. you want to then take it and repeat it. So, for example, if you know, we know that the lip is here. Um, so let's say we come here, okay, and then you look at this relationship. You see this, like, what we might want to do then is either bring this lip back out to here somehow. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe just putting that little line there, boom. You see the difference in that? Mm, yeah. Uh, let me get all this out of here. So now she has a mouth and, and lips on the front of that mouth, right? Now, the reason why I, I would say bring it here is this reason. Um, if we have this measurement, okay, which ultimately is, it's a little bit more than two units, okay, we can come up in here and say, okay, from the center of the face, we make the back of the eye. 
Now, she's on a three-quarter, so we, this would change a little bit, but maybe that cheek would come out here, Bill. Right? That far? Well, I'm just saying maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because what we're doing is we're trying to – we don't want to just make a, 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 a mark and only have it once. We want to be able to repeat it. Right. We want, to stand, we want to standardize our efforts. Exactly. So if it's only one, then it becomes like an orphan child. You know, it's like, you know, like a redheaded stepchild. It's like, well, why does it belong there? So mm -hmm. if you're going to create a new angle, because this distance, um, this distance here mm -hmm. has an angle to it that isn't in the Vargas grids, but you can use that as long as you then continue to use it throughout your piece. So you it's know? the same angle as on the upper part of the lip, no? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think yeah. so. It looks like it is. Yeah. Okay, got it. Thanks. Yeah, uh, uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're looking out, Mita. I didn't see that. You're looking out. <laughs> nice. All right, very cool. And do you want to go to the next one, Bill? Okay. Uh, let me get this layer off here. I can go now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the um, second um, part of the work. And the assignment was to get rid of all the lines that would be the ultimate one I'm going to show you. But before that, I had to do like, I had to put a nose in and the beard. And I, I should have had the beard in the first one, but I didn't. I worked backwards on that. I put the beard in here. Mm. That means like on the chin, chin part. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You have any thoughts, Anna? I think she left. Um, I can see that there's only problem with eyebrow, which is not uh, not symmetrical. I I don't understand what's the main point to make the face symmetrical, or more to real like features. Proportional. Which one is it, Bill? Do you want to make it more design oriented in terms of like some like symmetrical, or do you want it to become no. real looking? Well, you know, I I hear what you're saying, but I thought it would be, since it's three quarters, it wouldn't be the same. That's why I try to make it like that. That's why it's a little off. But I mean. Should it be symmetrical or should it be not? Um. I liked it actually when it was on the previous uh, meetup, let's say. And uh, the shape of eyes was even like when you kept it more with more angles, let's say, less curves, more angles, which was very nice to yep. me. And also eyes and also ears, like it was all in one style. And now I can see also uh, curves. I don't, it's like re one piece from another picture. Right, I got you. Hodgepodge. Hodgepodge. Uh, and, I, and, I, and that's exactly what I felt too when I first saw it. Um, I, I absolutely agree that I was looking for the angles, like the angles that made up the nose. Um, that I thought were really elegant, um, the angles that made up the eyes, um, and I feel like they got lost somewhere. And um, um, I like the Chinese woman. Last <laughs> 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 time, so <laughs> I vote for Chinese woman. <laughs> You want me to go to the next one, Bill? Oh, right. Okay. I forgot I have the power of control. 
There's something I, I'm really liking about this one, Bill. Um, okay. You can see here, like where we're, where we're talking about those eyebrows, you picked right. up one and you fixed it in here. These are much more symmetrical. Yeah. And eyes, I and like. The eyes, they, they're having more of the, that diagonal in here. So um, it's more curvy now. Yeah. Well, I like what you did here with the hat where you brought the point here, the point here, and then you have the point in the back. And so you made that curve so that it hit all three of those points. Right. And the ear is getting a little bit better. I, I almost feel that the ear needs to kind of extend out from. Yeah, I think you're right. From the head there. Well, when I reconfigure it with the other angle, it will. Oh, hold on one second. Um, uh, Martin just said that he's going to be coming on into the meetup. He had a power outage in uh, mm -hmm. Cali. Hmm. So, um, so talk to us, Bill. What's going on with this? Well, you know, I think I got rid of all the all the support lines and um, try to structure in a way that made sense. I would suggest one thing here, Bill. I, I'm I've been having an issue with this beard, right? Okay. I, this is, I think, the most successful beard that you have. Um, I would just say, get, you know, just make it one line, not, not the double line. Okay. But I think that beard feels like it's a fake beard on that face, which is what it is. Obviously. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and, and for some reason, it feels like it's attached properly. Uh, on the other ones... It, it didn't feel that way. You know, it's like zigzagged or whatever, you know. Okay. Uh, and so now you have that. We remove, we remove that little piece. And that, I think the beard, for me personally, has finally come to a place where it's like, okay, now it's part of the piece. You know what's going to happen? Nope. When I reconfigure the the hat, the the beard and the hat and the hat might be more alignment. Okay. Seems like it's going that way. But we'll see. What are your thoughts, Mitta? She's on mute. No, I'm I'm here, babe. Oh, okay. Yeah. I I don't know. I mean, I, I like this one better. Yeah. I think the lips are nice and I like the nose. I think there's a little bit of a detail on the nose that's going on. Um, I agree with Anna. The, I think the eyebrows are much better than this one. I mean, the beard and the hat, they almost look identical. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the beard looks smaller version of the hat here. Right. Yeah, I, I, uh, the first uh, piece also which Bill shared, I saw two triangles there. So I think there's a lot of play of triangles which go, which are going on in all these pieces. Uh, they're looking like right angle triangles to me, all of them. I, I don't know whether Bill, Bill, that's correct. They're looking like what now? Uh, like a right angle triangles. I see a lot of triangles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are. A lot of triangles, a lot, yeah. a lot of, a lot of angles, rather. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know why I'm seeing triangles, but I saw a triangle in the first one also, which you have shared. I had seen two triangles there. On that one, yeah, because yeah. You yeah. see the uh, the ear, which is there, the ear of the woman. Uh -huh. and, yes. And then the, there's another overlapping triangle, which is going to what you call as a major diagonal. Mm -hmm. so, I see two triangles, two right right angle triangles actually. 
that's what I saw. Oh, yes, two right angles, yes. Yeah, I, yeah. I see what you're saying, right, I got you. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's cool. Um, I, I am seeing this here, oops, where are we? Um, this triangle, oh, come on, coming through here, mm -hmm. and then here's another one, and here comes, it looks like another right triangle coming down through there, which is now giving you that cheek, the bottom of the cheek, the back of the ear, the back of the hat, the front of the hat. I mean, that gives you a lot of construction there. That's neat. That's so, really, really cool. So one, two, okay, there's another triangle which you are going from the other Yeah, one. and then, then you have obviously like this triangle coming up through here. You have this one coming up through here. Yeah. Then it forms obviously this triangle. So, yeah, it does a lot of. If we brought this one down here, and then we came back up, that would form right there. That's neat. Very ordered, Bill. Very ordered. <laughs> Try to, yeah, right. Um. All right, guys. Uh, the thing is, is I'm looking for. Martin, he just said, he sent me a text saying that he's going to be in in five minutes. Problem is, is in five minutes, it's going to be 6.30, and I think we could probably end the, the meetup um, here is, in, in five minutes. Is there a small circle on that nose? I Can you zoom into the nose? I, I almost looks like a circle, I don't know. Yeah, right, it does. Uh, because it is. Whoop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, let's see here. Anna, you're a trooper. You're sick and you still are st still are here. Yeah, I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still thinking about this face. I think that maybe if Bill will definitely change from horizontal grid to vertical grid, it will change everything here. Yeah, it will change a lot for sure. <laughs> this is before she started bad, bad, bad mouthing the lady next door. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's just, I, I, I'm always amazed when you just make a little change, how it dramatically changes the entire piece. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Bill, I think with this one here, I feel like you're coming a lot closer to who she is. But I think if you do, if you can get to this point, but flip that Vargas grid to the to the that vertical was, one, right. mm -hmm. I think it's it's it, she's gonna come she's gonna come forth she's gonna come out of that. All right. So I'm fine with your style. I think your ear is getting better. It, it, we, we're gonna need to work on it. I mean, this looks like an eye eyebrows elegant. You know, this looks like. Um, we got to be careful with this, okay? So I think we need to develop a simple shape, just like you did here. Maybe just the shape of that lip, you know, kind of repeat it. Oh, yeah, it's a good idea, right? Let's see if we can. <laughs> it's about repetition, right? <laughs> That's right. You know, and maybe come out a, a little bit mm. from the. Well, I think it's just too far from the from the, from an eye. <laughs> 
yeah it was on previous sketches it was more closer to the to the to eyes to the face itself i think right you're right on that but it was a smaller a smaller um smaller it was a smaller piece and 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 the and the angle of the hat was different ah okay Yeah, we have to figure it out. Um, so I think you need to have it extend or come in. I want to see it extend a little bit further than the 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 face, so it's you know protruding out from her face. But then it needs to be tied into her face. So one thing we could do is to take this horizontal, right, and in nose, make it the top. Uh, yeah, and then we could actually take this and then make the horizontal here. Um, and that way now it ties into the cheek, the nose. Um, you know. Something. And again, I don't think you need to put any lines in the inside of there because you don't have any, you know, you're just having these big pieces, these big spaces. When you start trying to put in too many folds and, and information in those areas, I would think what you want to do, Bill, is think a cross between a really smooth sculpture, like primitive sculpture, right? Right. Um, and also stained glass, like a cross between the two. Like you're putting these really thick lines in here. This makes me think of stained glass windows um, or heavy outlined uh, folk art almost. But I think right. in terms of thinking of structure, you want to think more of like a, a, a really polished, smooth sculpture where they're not, it's almost like the, the art is in the finish, not in the details. Because I think when you see that eye, like this whole area is unbelievably gorgeous. Like she is hot. <laughs> um, I want to just cover up half her face here. Woo! <laughs> Look at that, man. You see that? Let me zoom in. Like that shape that's going on in here is is nice let's see what the other side yeah this is starting to 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 violate the space but yeah, it is right and this is okay but it's not it's not as sensual it's not as uh elegant it's not as okay so maybe what i could do is you know, contour the eye to give it greater, uh, um, well, make, to create a similar effect. Oh, you mean I put more of an angle in there? Uh, yeah, I could, yeah, I could be a little better, right. I would say whatever you're going to do, don't focus on the line as the solution, mm -hmm. but as the means to the solution. The solution in design is always space. Okay. The designers were always controlling space. To hear, to me, this line doesn't do it. The reason why it works is because it helps form the space between this line and this line. And that right there, that space that's flowing right in here, that's where that energy comes from. I mean, you know, it's right. Really it, ca ca it, for it, for it captures the energy and it, and it moves it around. Exactly. Over here, uh, you don't. We don't have that. It's, it's too conflicting. Yeah, and it's also the energy is being spilled out, spilled out here. So once you come down through here, you can see it here. Um, uh, mm -hmm. Let me. Let, let me. Uh, so you can see the, the energy comes through. Mm -hmm. Comes through here. 
it shoots out here, and then what also forces is that this thing comes out through here. So your eye just goes boom, and it there it throws you off. There's nothing that's capturing it back into the piece. Um, I have to here, catch some of cat to catch the energy. Here, when the energy comes out this way, yeah. you also have this bringing you back in. Now you have the lips coming up. You see how it moves. And I, and I think this is why this is flowing. And then, and then you have that energy basically moving like that up through that piece. Um, so I, can I do I have a lifeline on this? What do you mean? I want to. I want to ask Anna. Hmm. <laughs> 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 so Anna, what, what, how can I capture that energy? What, what, <laughs> what, what, what you're thinking on that? Cool. <laughs> um, <coughs> I agree with Victor <laughs> because, like, men should know women's energy better. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Hey, Martin, what's up? What's up, everybody? Hello, right. Martin! Hey. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Anna. Hi. Yeah. Nick is here screen. as well. Uh, welcome. Hi there. So, uh, you were trying to get on oh, earlier, and you blew out all the electricity in California? No, I guess somebody hit, hit a hole or something. And it's like getting crazy, like the wind and the rain. I mean, it's it's wild outside right now. So somebody did something. Wow! Also, they have the we got all the power. So I'm like, oh man, right? It was like I have like twelve. So it's been out for a while. Wow! I was in a restaurant the other day, and and all the power went out on the block, and so it was really weird to be in this restaurant with food, and like, it was all black. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was kind of cool. <laughs> so. All right, uh, Anna, um, your solution to uh, Bill's question. The question is, I think that energy is in eyes mainly, and I would keep this, this eyes up, like she's not sad, like you see that the angle there, which was not on the previous... Um, right, I got you. So... It goes up, she's not angry and she's not like she's more strict or whatever. So the emotions are mostly through eyes. If you want her to, to be strict, then keep her eyes as it is. And the energy, I think that it all, as it's, if you go back to changing the grid to vertical, it will change everything. So... Mm -hmm. Right, because this is a this is a landscape. Yeah, it will it will uh, dramatically change the picture. Right. Okay. And so, yeah, this eye I like so much. You like this one, and you want to change yep. that one? Yeah. No, I like this one. Yes, exactly. Which one is moving? Okay, I just want to see something here because. Um, how, well, let me go back here. Okay, so let me pop that up. Okay. I just want to see if we add a little bit more space between the eye and the nose, what, what happens here? And if we did that, we probably would have to move this whole cheek area. Maybe move it so that it goes right into that eye, comes up through there. Oh, come on, cheeks never start in the middle of the eye. Mm 
start in the middle of the eye. <laughs> no hunter anymore. Um, yeah. So now that space is it's moving us like this. It's not moving. It's not moving us it's down. It's not moving us down like this. And then the, this is connected to that. This curve is bringing us up into here. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> exactly. Okay. Yo, know, Martin, do you have any work to, to show? I believe I sent you that one in my e in your email. Just the one. Oh, you, when did you? Yeah, I was gonna upload the other one. I, I did another one. I did, I did the second second project. Went into the curve layer, uh -huh. but the electricity ran just pop right when I was gonna scan it in and start photoshopping it. So how rude. Yeah. Uh, Bill. Yes. All right. So let's just take a screenshot of this. And um, let me blow it up so you can get a better image. Okay. Okay. And um, yeah, I guess the the main thing here is change the grid, and and then just pay attention to make sure that your eyes have the angles, your lips have the right angles. And also just pay attention to the spacing. Um, I think the spacing really is going to be important. Cool. Great job. Man. Great job. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Anna. Thanks, Mita. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. Uh, Gianna's work she sent over she wasn't able to get on for some reason um, but she was working on this dominant uh, angle vertical horizontal and then vertical horizontal and then repeating these curves and what's interesting and this is what I, I wish she was on so I could tell her this and the reason why I'm showing you this is because Bill did the opposite. Um, I think this this girl here has like a sense of sadness on her face, and one reason is when you when you repeat these curves that go down like this, uh, that happens often. So if you focus on bringing the curves up. You're making your dominant curves come up, she'll feel a little bit more happy. So it depends on what you're trying to communicate, but that's just something to pay attention to. Um, all right, Martin, let me go ahead and get uh, that image. So you can talk about it <laughs> peaceful inhabitants so did everybody where did you oh, guys get? Yeah. how does everybody else think about zoom That's pretty cool yeah it's good man uh zoom man, yeah i like it too yeah okay cool um oh what's going on here Oh, you sent me a Photoshop file, bro. What you doing that? Oh, yeah. Man? Well, that's what you're using, right? <laughs> no, you're making me do more work. No, it's already all layers. And yeah, it's just done. Mm. So what is this? What is that? All right, so I just want your little guy here. And if you want, I'll bring in the other one as well. The one I posted? 
Yeah, you want me to do that too? Yeah, it, it's the line layer. I, I went ahead and went forward on it, so that's cool. That was cool, man. Oh, yeah. Boom. That's nice. I like the way you did that. That's nice, man. Thank you. You got the yeah. separation separation between the, the background, the headset, and the guy. Yeah, the next. Mm -hmm. Once I get into the values, I imagine it's going to really start popping. Because what's that one? What's that thing you guys called when we were doing the meeting? Where you backgrounds yeah. kind of. The passage. Like really, no, the it's a very nice name. Phil said it. Oh, very perspective. No, when the when the background, remember how you're showing me those two boxes? And then you kind of fade the one in the back, or you can make oh, it. Oh, uh, passage. Passage. That's what I'm going to do. I didn't quite get to that yet. <laughs> That'd be nice, yeah. That'd be nice. But, yeah, once I put that that line weight around the, the thicker line, uh, it, it just made it pop. And like yeah. this, you know, take, you told me to take the ruler and, and line it all up, so it came out a lot better. Yeah, it feels a little tighter. Um... And then, did you do this field here? I did it because that's where I didn't even get into that layer yet. I just popped it in there real quick. Is that from the Vargas grid that layer? No. I mean, uh, that that um, that field. The top it, is the top. The top the is. Bottom, I'm not sure about the bottom. I have to put it back. I would assume the sides are because you would have. Yeah. Okay, so basically, just figure out your bottom. And then that gives you a Vargas grid field, um, which then becomes that layer. Um, what are you guys? What are you guys thinking? Looks cool. <laughs> Looks I good. don't think that can be fixed. Looks cool, but it's the only question that I feel like he's listening to the classic music. Oh, he's listening to classic. Yeah, definitely because like. <laughs> it's not even shopping stage, but it's more like I don't know, like. Um, oh, it's like it's like Gregorian chant, right? Yeah, that's exactly, exactly. It's what I was thinking about. Yeah. The holy roller. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, you heard a holy roller. <laughs> it has a roller. State of mind or <laughs> meditation or whatever. <laughs> no. But it looks like this. <laughs> I, really, I really like the variation in the line which he has done to make the figure come out from the background. Yeah, thank you, Mita. Yeah, that was something we talked there in the week. I yeah, I, I had one question, Martin. You rounded off the shoulders, right? I don't, I don't remember your sketch. Like I faintly remember it. You didn't have the round shoulders last week, did you? You didn't round those off last week? No, the, all I had was the, the diagonal, the dominant diagonal coming yes. up. So and it was extending to the corner of the... Yeah, okay. so it made you feel like it's, you know, one point perspective. Uh -huh. um, Martin, I think I, I, I really don't like the shoulders. No? no. <laughs> now you're changing your mind. <laughs> No. Um, Add more hands and he will be praying already. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, he's bent. I think um, <laughs> remove the body. Just keep the head and the, and the collar. And then this can be um, kind of like the one-point perspective. Um, and the reason why, yeah, okay, and then you can bring this dark value, this line value, um, oh, okay, and it's okay if it feels like he's a floating head, 
because <laughs> you're not drawing a portrait of a guy sitting in a thing, right? You're 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 really trying to communicate this concept of this this music and being in, inside this sanctuary, right? Yeah. So I would encourage you to look at Polish artists, um, poster artists. Uh, Polish. Yeah, Puerto Rican poster artists from the fifties. Um, look at some Polish poster artists from probably around the fifties as well. Um, and, and see how they conceptualize their ideas because your draftsmanship and designing is starting to feel very, very much like the, um, the mukas, the, you know, these, um, these guys could draw really, really well, but they were able to then illustrate, uh, graphically. Right. Yeah. Um, and so like the, I think Bill mentioned it the other day, uh, that, um, oh, you mean Al Escher, Escher, Escher. Escher. No, uh, I, I'm not thinking Escher. Escher. Okay. Um, he, he's a, he's in a, a different space. Um, he, he wasn't, he was trying to, you know, he was more experimenting with, let's say, math, not necessarily communicating idea. Um, uh, but look at, look at the work of a lot of poster artists. Start looking that up. Did you but see that? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's one. <laughs> what was that? You see it on my... That's a Polish artist. Uh -oh. well, I, uh, no, I don't see your screen. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's on there. <laughs> All right, so I brought in your other one, Martin. Okay. And you'll understand why I would say remove the shoulders, the arms. The reason why is, is very simple. Um, because without, with them there, it looks juvenile. It looks like a kid's cartoon book, right? Oh, yeah. It doesn't carry the weight, the sophistication that the rest of it does. We remove it, now this piece elevates to a, a whole nother level of professionalism. Okay. It's Dali, Dali, Dali. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very, very, very yeah. much more. Okay. Can I ask you something? Can you try to repeat the, the, the upper arc of the ceiling, let's say, or the second arc of the ceiling? It looks like the shape of shoulders. Yeah, or the or yeah, this one. Yeah, this one exactly. Oh, this one here. This one. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you're saying it will maybe grab it, and that could be the shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. Just move it down downwards to the head and see where it switch. Okay, let's try. Might work also. It just might, Anna. Uh, let's see here. Whoop. Now he's praying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now he's praying. <laughs> it looks interesting. That's actually not a bad idea. Now you're bringing that whole element down, and, and, and it does, if, if you want to add that in there. Um, this is the reason why I would suggest not doing that. Um, when we go to the second piece, you can see here, let's get, can, can you guys see this piece? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now it refers to more contemporary music. Exactly. <laughs> He's satisfied, I see. He's got soul music. He's listening to soul music. <laughs> also, we're going to have to beat you if you ever sign your name like that again. Um, okay. yeah, go for it. <laughs> so now we got rid of the distracting name. Okay, which almost looks like a flyer's jersey or some type of <laughs> um, And I got rid of the shoulders. 
So the face feels like it's kind of, it does it, it slightly feels like it's floating and yet it actually feels very grounded because it's well designed. Right? Mm -hmm. So now when we look at the next one, what do we see? We see a collection of posters or paintings. You're developing a show. And so from this point on, Martin, I want to see you develop this concept, the guy with the with the headphones. And you, you're going to come up with five to 15 different designs based on that. This is going to be, maybe he's been listening to classical music. He's, you know, he's has that zone, that genre, whatever. It may not just be that music. It could be rock music, whatever it is. But yeah. the whole point is it, it's taking them into that sanctuary, right? Yeah. Um, this one, it's doing a whole nother thing. Um, and and I think you have this connection with the music. You love it. You have a character. You have the, the headphones. You can build out a, a really nice series. And, um, I mean, this one, I, I love this piece, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that. I'm like, dude, what? I was just, like, thinking, what can I add now to the background to change it? Because... Now he looks like he's to me. He's he's actually like rising, like something. Exactly. Yeah. Now, now he's coming to that solo, that guitar solo, and that rock. Yeah, like it's. Yeah, you know, if you would add also some beard and a hat, it would look like Victor. <laughs> <laughs> I said to my daughter, I said, well, "Do you like this?" She's like, "No." And I'm like, "What? Get the hell out of here!" And she said. Because he has a leaf for his goatee. <laughs> <laughs> a leaf. That's awesome. Um, I'll tell you, uh, Martin, the two things that I absolutely love about this piece that just made me kind of giggle like a girl <laughs> um, and it's it's very very strange and they're in the same area um, does anyone want to take a guess what they are which you absolutely love yeah the two things that I absolutely love about this piece that space around the headphones right next to the neck <laughs> 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 you like the leaf. <laughs> Ooh, I like the leaf. What's underneath? <laughs> uh, Bill's absolutely right. I am in love with this space. Oh, that right there. This shape is the puzzle. You know, when I used to study over at the, um, with the Grand Master of Design back in the day, um, we used to say something in the studios, did it click? And what that meant was when you get new information, you have to go through a process, and at some point it clicks. You just get it. Yeah. And people are always waiting for the click. Now, what's interesting is I always talk about the click, but I don't talk about it in terms of did you get it. I talk about it in terms of, there's something when you design things properly that the, the spaces and the shapes, they click. Like this space inside here, that I, I don't think you can make that any more perfect. Wow. I mean, that, I mean, this feels like it's a puzzle piece dropped into place. Okay. This is like another puzzle piece another puzzle piece it look it feels like there could be no shape that exists in the whole entire universe that could fill that spot except for the one that you created and and they all work together yeah. even the space on the outside of this head it feels like it's a piece that just locks right in and and so a lot of artists they get they get close to it um they get close to Excuse me. There are artists in here, composers. Yeah, composers. 
a lot of artists get close to it because, <laughs> they're, because they're working intuitively. But as a composer, we're intentional. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, we, we, what happens, and I always say, is like it's almost like doing a puzzle. The artist says, "Oh, I feel this should be here, this and this," and it's and and a lot of times they're in the right places, but they're not they're not locked into the grid. They're not locked into yeah. the, and that's what the composer does. And and when I saw this, Martin, I was like, "Holy snap! <laughs> you got it, man! You locked yeah. it in. You locked, you locked the space in." Does that make any sense? Oh yeah, it makes sense. It's a pixel puzzle pattern that I just. <laughs> <understand>. <laughs> we gotta make a T-shirt that says that. <laughs> I made picture puzzle patterns. <laughs> um, yeah, it's cool. You know what's cool is, is what's going to challenge me is, is the backgrounds now, and I want that. You know, I want to. I want to see what's. Well, what do you happen. need a background for this thing? There is no, there is no background necessary. Yeah, but just one thing, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, Martin, go back and check your 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 balance on those head headphone areas. Okay. What do you mean? They're too high, too low? No. If okay, uh, we have the tool. I'll show you. Yes. Yeah, See, we got this sucker here. See this one here, right? That space there. Uh, I don't know if I can see you annotating. Wait. Oh, wait, well, hold on, let me try to get it again. Um, there you go, thank you. Um, I can't, I can't uh, show my annotation. Oh, hold on one second, Bill. Let me make sure that, um, uh, disable annotate, no, you should be able to. Oh, let me click off of mine. Okay, there you go. Right, you see, see the space in here? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's a different yeah. from the other side. Yeah, and it, it, it affects this here, just just so slightly. Yep. Yeah. It's yeah. Not quite much, but. Yeah, and you can see the difference between this shape and how all of this works over here, and then yeah. this one it, it, it loses a little bit up in here. You, you might you might try the the Vargas Vargas hustle, and just flip it. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's what I did. <laughs> I'm flipping. <laughs> Shoot. I actually have it already in the curve layer. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah, I did. But what I, I did two sides different. Like you said, one's going to be more focused on the face. Uh-huh. And then one's... The music. Just went on the outside. Okay. I didn't bring that line in, but... All right, so you're gonna save those then for next week. Yeah, that will be next week. Okay. Um, the other part that I like is the fact that this line here comes down. Oh wait, mm -hmm. you can't see what I'm looking at, or can you? Um, let me bring you. Okay, so this line comes down, comes here, and then. Oops. Okay. So you saw this boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. I love how this thicker line fades away. And then you come over here, and this doesn't fade away as much, but you almost have it going on there. This yeah. little fade of this, it, yeah. it is such a, a, a beautiful little moment of, of thought. Because every line is a thought. Yeah. When you have to start and end, and then you execute and you put your 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 spirit, your essence, your determination, your will behind that mark, and you say this is it, let it be, boom, and you go and you make that mark. If you hesitate, your line shows it. Yeah. And so when you have this come down, boom, and then here. Something happens right in here in your mark in your mind where you you knew you nailed it and you just yeah. <laughs> and, and I love what that tells me. Oh, that's the confidence, Martin. And this is this piece here is awesome, but it doesn't have the it doesn't have the confidence that this one has. 
Yeah, because that's my second piece. <laughs> so, like, also, I like I like this here in the uh, well, not that one, but the, the mouth here. Look at his nose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to try that again there, Bill? Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, all right, get a draw. A draw, uh, I guess it's this thing to do. Like here, in the mouth, you know? No, I can't see. Similar effect down here we have, you don't really see the lines, it's just suggesting a mouth. Yeah. Yeah. I like that a lot, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Bill. Hey, and what's beautiful about that, Martin, is it, it, it makes the goatee thing come out, or the favorite flavor, favorite flavor, whatever you call it. So whatever. <laughs> and then you have these angles. So what happens is when your eye gets down into this area, it shoots up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you have this long upside-down triangle, which then brings you up into the top. But when it gets up in here, it doesn't get trapped in all these little details. Those are there... They support the picture. They hint at a representation, mouth, nose, chin, that area. But they're not important. And then as it comes up into here, all of a sudden it stops. It, it, the, the vertical stops because you have this dominant horizontal, which happens to be where the eyes, the mind, and the ears all align into the space. Um, and I love that you do feel like you're rising up because it's designed to make you feel elevating. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're in this moment of da 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 da. What you know, like yeah. It's just a building, and it's about ready to explode. You know. You, you know <laughs> <laughs> <And you're smiling. laughs> and so. This is when composition gets really, really, really fun. When you get to really articulate visually what it is, not that what people see, but actually what they feel. Yeah. Yeah. Because we all feel the same thing. Mitta, uh, when you look at this, do you feel like something's elevating, maybe inside or outside, but it's moving up? Oh, yes, yes, yes. And I agree with Bill totally. I think uh, though he's not drawn the whole, like the outline of the face, but I think the way he's, that line just fades away, it automatically gives a feeling that he's kind of looking up. And uh, I, I agree with you, all the shapes, which is there in the goatee, you know, it, it takes the whole, um, your whole the eye direction, it takes it up and it rests on the eyes where he's kind of deeply listening to the music. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. It's beautiful. Thank you. you know, but you have to say this, Martin. I can't wait to see the rest of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because see, the headsets are just metaphors. It's not just not even music. It'd be like anything, man. Yeah. Yep. Nice work. Thank you. Yeah. Great. I would what um after you do your curve layer, since I mean no, not after, since you're working on your curve layer. I want you to do one. I want to challenge you, Martin, on this. Oh, by the way. Um, I want you to focus on an arabesque. You're doing a lot of you know, vertical, straight on, symmetrical things. Mm -hmm. So I want you to focus on him feeling the, ooh, you know, like, yeah. uh, like something's moving in that music. Okay. Okay. And, and obviously the secret then is you want to then repeat how that angle flows. So now when, when we look at that, we should feel him almost like Stevie wondering it, you know? I just got to say, you know, whatever. So but, that, um, what was that? I'm trying to, is that with the curve layer? Just come in there and start. Yeah, absolutely. So you could even use this same piece and then start moving just the nuances of things so that when you look at it, it doesn't shoot you straight vertical, but it shoots you through, it me meanders you through this, this 
this movement. It's almost like your 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 flesh is dancing a little, not your whole body, but just you know, and right underneath the skin, it's moving, it's dancing, so it's moving you through. Okay. Um, so, so Victor, you are proposing we change the kind of uh, the, the orientation of the lines to give that feeling, right? All the lines we, which he has in this. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you want to try to keep eighty to ninety percent of what you're looking at the same. Mm -hmm. But for example, if we have this as the arabesque that's flowing through, then when you draw. Let me get the annotation. I like this little arrow thing. So this works nice, right? So you might want to make this a darker line. And just like you went from dark to light here, you go dark to light, right? Because at some point here, you want to shift the transition. So you go, you go dark here, right? Mm -hmm. And all these might be darker. The ones on this side might be lighter. Um, back here might be darker and darker, but this goes a little lighter. You can already see how this is already moving, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This goes darker, maybe that nostril up in the eye, but these become a little lighter, okay? This might, you know, there might be something that, that comes up into here. This goes a little darker. So now you're, now you're flowing this way, and now when it gets in here, you start transitioning, you shift that to here and then here, and then up out. <laughs> so wow, it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's clicking. It's clicking in. <laughs> but you can already see how, like, you're, you're moving through that. Yeah. Okay. It made a lot of sense. Thanks, Mita, Mita for asking that question, because I was going to ask it. <laughs> Um, all right, well, I guess we're going to wrap the beat up um, from there. Let's just do one last uh, tidy up thing. Um, Where's yours? Well, I didn't uh, plug it in because Gianna, I gave her my spot, but then she couldn't log in. Um, so we just kind of looked at her work. Um Okay, so this is the feedback. Uh, we kind of, I think, had the feedback as we went along, so we're not going to worry about that. And then I just want to write down who's going to do the be the quote master next week. I think Mita volunteered. <laughs> Mita, do you want to be the quote master for next week? Who? Mita, are you there? Uh, yeah, hi, I'm here. Um, okay, so I just need to find some quotes about art, correct? No, no, no. Okay, sorry, art about, the, sorry, quotes about composition? Ah, yes. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do that. I can do that. <laughs> or would you rather do the vision casting? Uh, no, I will find out the quotes. I think that will be All right. easier for me. Is going to be the quote master, the QM, as we say. Um, who would like to do the vision casting? I'll do it. All right, Mr. Bill. Um, I'm going to then say uh, presenter one, two. Three, four, um, Anna, do you want to present something next week? Sure. Okay. So we'll say Mitta, Anna, Bill, and Martin will present next week just because the only people who can present are the people who show up to the meetup. <laughs> So it's gonna work out. Yeah, I, I want to see those angels. <laughs> and, uh, Thank you. I want to see that. I'm mean, gonna see that. I mean, that's gonna be that's gonna be good, man. I know. It will be big. I have a 
big ambitions and big plans for this business. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Shoot. What, what, I, what I think now is comparing um, Martin and Beals. They both work on portraits. It was for me, I was thinking always, how can I use composition for portraits? Because it's harder. Like you can compose the body, the landscape, whatever, but face is like, face is face, who composes faces? But which, which is harder is what Bill does, Bill does now for, because the perspective is two thirds of the face and it's not really um, symmetrical. It cannot be symmetrical. Oh, because, it's, because it's a three quarters view? Yeah. Yeah, this is this is oh, the hard one because it's part it's of hard. the one eye is full, one is apart, and then you cannot feel the impre expression of both eyes. Let's say, and you know that's the problem of cheeks. One is sometimes higher, and one is lower because it's not proportional. Like it's harder, really harder to make this three quarters. All right, this is uh, Bill and Anna talking. <laughs> 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 oh, thank you. Take this leaf out. <laughs> oh, that leaf. <laughs> and that once it will be returned. <laughs> and it says, no. <laughs> Anna, Anna, do you hear, do you hear me, Anna? <laughs> so watch this. It works if we remove the value. Yes, it works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. We must. Oh, that's even better. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Do Evil and Miss Good. <laughs> there. <laughs> That's beautiful. <coughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Um, it's snowing it outside. Hard, it gets hard in California? Yeah, it's snowing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Man, tomorrow you guys are going to be sunken into the sea. You no, know, we're going to like that. Yeah, well, we're going to I think Notre Dame has said it's around this time this will happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, so we got uh, everything set up for next week. Uh, that's all good and dandy. This is going to be the new system. Did you guys like the way this flowed? Uh, yes, I love it. The presentation and whatnot. You can get on there and work. You can you can show people what you're talking about without saying over here and over there. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Over there. You don't know the other over there. <laughs> I hope it will be recorded good. Yeah, right. Yeah, hopefully, right. we'll see. The most important here. Um, I'll record. be honest. I, I forgot to hit the record button until you were about halfway through your. No way! I can see it's recording. No way! It's yeah, not... right. I see it too. I see it too, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just saying, like, I hit the record button yeah, but yeah. halfway through okay. your, okay. your vision hey. casting. So it's yeah, Anna, man, I, I want to I, I hear about your big, your big commission. What's that all about? What, what, what? Your big commission for the angels. Oh. <laughs> I plan it as, as a big composition. <laughs> oh, okay. The A words. Ryan's here. I didn't realize that. I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't talk. Five minutes. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yeah, t tell Bill about your uh, thingamajiggy. Huh? About your commission? We you will see angels next time, next week. Okay. We'll discuss. Okay. I, I can't because wait. It's, uh, a big challenge. All right. All right, guys. Uh, we're going to shut the meeting out. It was a great meeting. See you guys okay. next week. All right. Bye, everybody. Have a good Thanks, week. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Thanks Bye. very much. Bye. See ya. All right. Ciao, ciao. I'm gonna, uh, I'll, I'll close everybody out with this one click.